Hey guys, today we are currently in uh, the Cowslip Street level crossing in Violet Town. Violet Town. I'm here with T T T Q two C. We thought that Turquoise Channel 2.0 comments was a bit of a mouthful. Few syllables in there. So hoping that today, you know, we're gonna drop the old T T Q C. Um, T Q two C. What's so special about Violet Town? Uh, because what, my stepsister has, is named Violet, so that's what's special about it. Is there anything special about the train line and the... Oh, uh, there's a carriage, in, there's this park right here, just over here. There's a carriage from the Overland. Oh yes, there it is. Yep, there, the Overland Express. They went all the way to Adelaide. Okay, well everyone enjoy the, um, the tour of the Violet Town level crossing at what road? Uh, Cowslip Street. Cowslip Street. Guys and welcome to the What's up guys and welcome to the official Cowslip Street level crossing tour. Now this is a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, set uh, two gate seven signal level crossing. Did I say that right? Yep, two gate seven signal level crossing on the um uh, Albury line that sees trains direct to Albury. There's the signal box and there's a very vandalized Violet Town station. Now let's start the tour. So for this signal over here, we've got a, I believe, yep, a Mackenzie and Hawaii signal base, a white with black writing stuff on the red signal sign, two Westinghouse LEDs on one Westinghouse cross up, a two truck sign, cross buck, pole cap. And I also forgot to mention that there will be no activations for today because the next activation is at 6.59 p.m. Uh, so yeah, there won't be any, oh, whoa, a tire and it's white. So there won't be any activations for today. There's the sign. Uh, I'll do a station tour later. Yeah, it's very hot around here. And I mean very hot. As you can see, probably it used to be one platform, but that is another. Probably because the original track was for freight and freight only. And now it's for freight and trains. There's the coach stop, Albury to Melbourne, and Melbourne to Albury. There's the timetable. And for this signal over here, we've got a McKenzie and Hollard signal base, a white flag signing stop on the red single sign, six Westinghouse, oh wait, did I say that? White flag, yep. Uh, six with Westinghouse LEDs on two Westinghouse cross arms, uh, two track sign, cross back, Westinghouse hybrid bell, a. Uh, for the, um, the gated signal over here, uh, we've got a Mackenzie and Hollard signal base, which is huge. A um, Safe Train Systems Corporation gate mechanism. I feel like that's in bit, but no, no, it's not. A Siemens flat gate and three out cuff gate lights. And for that signal over there, we've got oh, the gateless signal over there. We've got an unmarked base. Wild Black Lane, Stop Marine Sea Line. Two Westinghouse LEDs and one Westinghouse cross arm. Two Jackson cross bug. Okay. Not two of the signals over there. Signal over here, we've got a bit of train track, an unmarked base, a wild duck run stuff on a red signal sign, four Westinghouse LEDs. Oh, wait, is that Westinghouse? That is in fact Westinghouse. So four Westinghouse LEDs on one McKinsey and Holland cross arm, a two Westinghouse LEDs on one Westinghouse cross arm, two track sign, cross back, pole cap, a McKinsey and Holland signal base. White with back riding stop on the single sign, two track sign, cross back, Westinghouse hybrid bell. And for the gated signal over here, we've got a Mackenzie and Hollard signal base with a bit of iron sticking out of it. Is that iron? Yep, that's iron. Um, a Safe Train Systems Corporation gate mechanism, a Siemens flat gate, and three outcraft gate lights. And I believe that's a pole cap. I'm not sure. Oh, and I forgot the pole cap there, and the pole cap there, and I believe the pole cap, no, I already mentioned the pole cap, and that's the tour guys, I hope you enjoyed.